Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola here coming into you from Lagos, Nigeria. So the last video I did, I told you that I was changing the cables because we had some uh, balance and performance issues. We had some cells that were much lower than the others. So today is the first full day where we've had good sun and I'm going to show you what the results are. So Tapa, bring your multimeter and get me voltage from B1 So I'm going to get you, leave it, it's okay. Uh, as you see, 410 is from B1, go to B, go to B14. And it is 409, well, 409, 410, 410, sorry. So as you could see, the, the one that was reading 409 now was the one that was reading high voltages and the one that's reading 410 was the one that was reading low. So it looks like they're pretty balanced and whatever issues we had were related to the cabling. So it's pretty important that you size your cables properly. They should be, your positive and negative cables should be the same size. Your interconnecting cables should be the same size. Give me a pointer, someone said I should use a pointer. Okay. So your, interconnect, your interconnections, we use bus bars, they should be the same. Your positive cable, sorry, your negative cable and your positive cable should be the same size and the same length. So I've been asked this question a couple of times. What is the capacity of your battery? How does it compare to a 200 amp hour battery? So here I have a long 200 amp hour battery. I purchased this about, um, I purchased this towards the end of 2017. And we'd install them for a customer while we're waiting for his um, lithium ion batteries to come in. And then we we'll moved them to another customer while we're waiting for their lithium ion batteries to come in. And now we just have them sitting in our office. So this is a 200 amp hour battery. And then these are my uh, 14 Nissan Leaf batteries. Now, brand new, they are rated at 500 watt hours each. So 500 times 14, five times four, it should be six kilowatt hours, right? Well, I can guarantee you for sure that we do not have six kilowatt hours here. I'm going to say that we have about four kilowatt hours, give or take, a bit is what we have in these batteries. So now here, with this long, for me to match what I have, I'm going to need four of these. I need four, and the four will give me 200 amp hours. Now 200 amp hours times 50 times 48 is 9600 watt hours. Well, as you know, you cannot discharge a lead acid battery to anything more than 50%. So in reality, you have less than five kilowatt hours in usable capacity in four of these, okay? So if, when you take into account of inefficiencies, conversion losses, what I have here is equivalent to four of these, okay? Yep, and this here weighs about 62 kg, and this, all this here is about 62 kg. So I'm, I'm looking at 62 times four, versus 62 times one to generate the same amount of, to produce the same, store, sorry, store the same amount of energy as what I do here. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them. If you have any suggestions, please, I'm very um, open to them. I want to thank every one of you that made your suggestions, everyone that made suggestions as to what to do on my last video. Um, they did come in handy, unfortunately, or fortunately, should I say, I have not had to put any of them into effect yet because it looks like the problem were caused by our cables. Okay, once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for watching.